Sheboygan's Country, B93. Mondays, we check in with Bill Weinog of the A's. Bill, how you doing, man? How's your weekend? I'm, I'm doing good. The weekend was up and down, but uh, we're through it. Now it's back to Monday and back to baseball. Now, I was on the A's website earlier this morning, you know, doing a little show prep, Bill. I take these things very seriously, as you know. Make sure everything works perfectly during these interview segments. And Nothing nothing but the highest quality oh, out of you, sure, right? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I appreciate that. This week, I mean, you talk about a congested week. I hope you can take a deep breath here and explain everything that's going on because you guys are all over the place this week. Oh, it, it's it's crazy, and our, our week ended crazy. With uh, We got to the top of the third inning in Manitowoc on Friday night, and that big storm came in. Right. And, uh, it was like Toto was there. I mean, there was banners <laughs> ripping off the outfield wall. The tarps were up in the air flying. It was It was nasty. Looked like an Independence uh, Day preview, probably. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, I mean, it was crazy, and there's nowhere to hide at a baseball park. Oh, yeah, you know, right, there isn't, you get, no. You know, the tornado sirens went off, and then all of a sudden the guy says, oh, that's not tornado warnings, that's a thunderstorm warning. Yeet. It's like, I don't care when I hear that horn, <laughs> I'm out of there. I was actually, I called a game, I don't know if you've ever seen a game up in Eau Claire for the Eau Claire, Eau Claire Express, you ever heard of them for the NWL? Yep. We yep. were calling a game up there about a decade ago, and one of those kinds of storms came through, and the sirens went off, and we all had to pack into the concourse. But you're right. I mean, once you're there, it's you just cross your fingers and hope everything's going to work out okay. You see everything outside's going sideways, but yeah, I understand what that situation is like. It's not fun. Yeah, it was great coming home on a school bus and the wind is rocking you side to side and the construction <laughs> yeah. barrels are flying. It was really an adventure. Very comforting, yeah. Hey, if you yeah. wanted to get that heart rate up on a Friday night, you got just that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, our week is going to be crazy. I mean, last week we, we beat Oshkosh 15-2 to and then went on the road to Appleton and beat them 11-5. to And then we stormed out of uh, the game on Friday night at Manitowoc. Yeah. So we need to finish that game up. Now, that's going to be played here, though, right? Yeah, we already had scheduled them for a, a scheduled game to play them Tuesday night at our ballpark. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start that Tuesday night game at 7 o'clock. We're going to finish game one, which is in the top of the third inning, with two guys on, nobody out, and we are up 10 to nothing at that point. Oh, well, that's a good situation to start out in, I guess, if you're the yeah, team yeah. in front. Yeah. So we're going to... We're going to play that game, finish that one, and then we're going to go and play game two at our ballpark. And that is also the Edward Jones night. There's a group of people from them coming down from okay. their place, and they're going to have a party and the whole deal. But before we get to Tuesday, tonight we head up to De Pere and we play the De Pere Dodgers, which is a new team in the league this year. I was going to say, I didn't recognize the team name. Yep, that's a new one. It's uh, Denny Rood that's run baseball in the Green Bay area for years, and he's started this team up this year. And So we'll see what that's all about. In okay. Yeah. So we play them Monday, and we come home Tuesday, we play the Manitowoc games, and then we go back to De Pere on Wednesday <laughs> night again. Yeah. And then Thursday we head down to West Dallas for a game. Man. And then Friday we come back home and we play Appleton at 7.30 Friday night, and that is a fish Friday night where we're giving away a bunch of fish fries from various sponsors of ours, bars, restaurants, you name it, we got fish fries. And you do those in between innings, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So then you finally get a little downtime on Saturday. It looks like the weekend's at least clear this coming weekend for Saturday and Sunday, but that is about as big of a traffic jam as I can recall seeing on a schedule for one week. Well, you know, to be honest, I cannot remember the last time we had two weekends in a row off. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, it, with the way the schedule is, um, some of the teams didn't want to travel as much, so instead of playing two games a night, or two games at separate times, we're playing a doubleheader and taking care of those two at once. Gotcha. So that opens up a few days. And we still have, we were rained out at Sponsors Night last Monday. Right. So we still have that rain makeup date to set for that. All right. Well, it's if you want to keep up and you couldn't quite follow where we were going with all the stuff happening this week, it's all on the A's website, ShibokanBaseball.org. If you just click on Schedule, it's got a breakdown of everything. And then we have full coverage at B93Radio.com as well. Anything else, Bill? Yeah, nobody won the jackpot. Oh, okay. Uh, bingo. How so much is that up to is, now? The pot is going up. I'm not sure what the exact amount is, but the next game we play will be, or the next uh, bingo night is... June 30th. Okay, and that's okay. That's a Thursday, right? Yeah. So and once it gets 
Once it gets closer to that, that is also Midwest Communications. Now I was going to say, so, that is the night, June 30th, right. So play a little bingo, come to the ballpark, <laughs> play a little bingo, whatever. Yeah. You know, just support us one way or the other. Yeah, it should be good. Yeah, that's a good thing to mention, too. Again, just a reminder for our listeners, Thursday, June 30th, we'll be at the ballpark, our second Midwest Communications night. Again, details, ShibulganBaseball.org. Like them on Facebook, and our website is more, too, at our A's Extra page. Bill, always a pleasure, man. We'll talk to you next week, all right? All right, thanks, John.